In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a look at how to layer multiple videos one on top of another. We're going to do this by taking the backgrounds out of some of the videos. Now this can be done, but it's tricky. And there's some very important things you have to consider if you're going to try to do this and make it look halfway decent. So please look at the following example, and then we'll show you some things to consider if you're going to do this kind of editing. So I have this video, and let's see if this would make a good background. I'm going to put it on track number one. And when I play it, we have these gentlemen running toward this rope wall, and they're going to climb it. Let's assume that I'd like to place another video in the foreground. In this case, I'm going to take these people kicking the soccer ball. I'll put that on track number two. And then with track number two highlighted, I'm going to click on the edit button above the timeline. I'm going to make sure I'm in my background option here. It's the third one to the right. Sometimes it's partly hidden. And I'm in background remover. I'll do AI background remover. I'm going to leave it to transparent. And let's see what happens if we simply do it this way. Now we have some issues because it's removed the background and they're coming toward the camera and we've cut off part of their feet. So there's another way around that one. So let's look at another option. What if I take the clip and I make it smaller and I put them in the foreground and I take their feet out of it partly. I'm going to go back to the beginning and we'll play this. Oh, they're too small. Let me make it, let me go back and make it bigger here. Go back to the very beginning. And now they're closer to the camera. And it looks like they're playing, kicking the ball and their feet aren't flying in the air. But that's not the only problem we have. You notice they move, part of their bodies move off screen. So if you have something like this, it's very hard to make it work. The other problem we have with this is that if you look carefully, this is normal speed and my background has these guys climbing the wall in slow motion. So that won't work for a couple of reasons. So let's try something else. I'm, I'm going to not use a slow motion uh, video for the background. I'll delete that completely. And let's take this normal background we have here. Another thing you might want for the background is it's often best to have it shot from a still perspective. No panning, no zooming, no moving from right to left. And so now if we take our soccer players and go back to the first couple clips, I can even enlarge it here in this case, maybe a little bit, show a little more of them. And we'll try that. And now we've put them on this grass, which looks a little more natural, but you notice we still have frames like this one where part of his head is cut off because he's out of frame. Now, if he weren't, this wouldn't be a bad one to use, at least up to this point. So we'll play it a little bit more. They approach the camera and then she starts flying through the air. So you have to be very careful about the kind of video you use in terms of what you want to layer. The other, the other issue with it you have to consider is the angle of the sun. Now, this looks like it's a mostly cloudy day and the sun is coming from the left. That's not too bad. You can get away with that. Let's try something else. Let's try another layer. Let's take this gentleman here talking on a cell phone. I'm going to put him on a higher number layer yet. I'll put him on track number three. Again, I'm going to click on the edit button. Make sure I'm in my background controls, background remover. And I'll take that. I'll remove the background. I'm going to lower him down. I'm going to make him make him a little smaller. I don't need him to dominate the scene. So he's talking over here on his cell phone. 
Now, if we combine these two clips, and what I'm going to do so it isn't so jerky is I'm going to render this. To render a clip for preview, it will render wherever the timeline is all the way to the end of the clip. And I have it at the beginning, so I'm going to click on this render icon here, and it will render that range. So I will pause this while it's doing that. It's finished rendering, so the preview should be smoother. Let's play this and see what happens. They're on the grass, and he's in front of them. And if they didn't move out of frame, it wouldn't be too bad. Now, the problem we have here is that everything's in sunshine. We see the sunshine on them, but we see the sunshine here, but we see no sunshine on him. So we have to assume either he's in the shade or it's not a good option. Let's try one more before we quit. I'm going to try one more. And so I'm going to go back to my videos. And I've got a video of this gal on the beach. And we'll put her on track number four. And I don't want her to be full screen. I'm going to put her in right about here. And then I'm going to do the same tool with the edit on her in AI Background Remover. And now she's removed. I might want her to be approximately the same size, her head to be about the same size as his. And I'll pause and render it, and we'll see how it turns out. I've rendered it, and, and let's see how it plays with these four layers together. Okay, now we have one other problem here. You notice her hair is out of frame. So if I were to use this particular clip, I would make it crop up against the end of the frame here. The other issue we're going to have, and you can see it a little bit here, is that the shadows are different. The angle of the sun is from the left. Here it's coming in, obviously, from the right. Sometimes people notice that, sometimes they don't. But it's another factor that tells you how complicated it is to make it look really, really good with clips that are shot different places and different times. But the ability to remove the background and make it look like it's part of the foreground is really amazing. And so I think software's come a long way. Uh, it'd be nice if you could cast light on uh, subjects like this guy here. And if you only had her or him in the shot, it'd be a lot easier than working with this one here, but okay. In a, in a frame like this one, it almost looks like a bare piece of ground got kind of crowded with people doing all kinds of different things. That's just an example of how you can use this kind of technique with the right kind of footage to layer different videos in CyberLink PowerDirector.